I've previously talked about JB Rainsberger's argument that integration tests are a scam. But in that video, I mainly focused on the combinatorial complexity of integration tests. In other words, the argument that the amount of integration tests you have to write to really have total code coverage are too many, right? It's a combinatorial problem. There are too many integration tests that you have to write and thus you shouldn't uh, even try because it's better to then use unit tests. But I didn't really focus on the scam part that JB Rainsberger talks about. So let me emphasize what the scam part is with that argument. So stealing JB Rainsberger's example, his example is that if somebody would sell you aspirin, but the aspirin gave you a headache, then you would call that a scam. And his argument is that that's actually what integration tests are doing. Integration tests claim to be reducing the number of bugs in your code, but he argues it's more likely that they will increase the number of bugs in your code. Let me explain. He says it's a vicious cycle in this sense. Integration tests allow you to get away with poorly designed systems, with highly coupled systems. Because integration, because if you're unit testing, then you really need decoupled systems in order to be able to properly test them, in order to be able to sensibly test them. But integration tests, in other words, allow you to get away with having poorly designed systems, with having highly coupled systems, but you can still test them. So integration tests do not give you the feedback that you otherwise get about the design of your system. So integration tests lead you down a path of a poorly architectured solution. And a poorly architectured solution probably inclines you to write more tests. Or more specifically, because it's poorly architectured, the cost of writing unit tests are, is probably very high because it's so coupled. So you would choose to not write unit tests and instead keep writing integration tests and thus further degenerating the architecture of your application. So in other words, you start with integration tests, you degenerate the, the architecture of your application, your, your application has a degenerated architecture and because of that, the cost of writing unit tests is too high so you won't do it and instead you keep writing integration tests with, which further degenerate the architecture of your application, etc, etc, etc. And this is the scam part. It's a vicious cycle that sort of step-by-step step degenerates the architecture of your application and while it still does not actually totally test your system. That's the scam part. Whoop.